Levamisole, sold under the trade name Ergamisole among others, is a medication used to treat parasitic worm infections. Specifically it is used for ascariasis and hookworm infections. It is taken by mouth. Side effects may include abdominal pain, vomiting, headache, and dizziness. Use is not recommended during breastfeeding or the third trimester of pregnancy. Serious side effects may include an increased risk of infection. It belongs to the antihelmintic class of medications. Levamisole was discovered in 1966. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines, the most effective and safe medicines needed in a health system. The wholesale cost in the developing world is about 18 cents to 33 cents for a course of treatment. It is not commercially available in the United States. Levamisole is also used as a dewormer for livestock. Medical uses Worms Levamisole was originally used as an anthelmintic to treat worm infestations in both humans and animals. Levamisole works as a nicotinic acetylcholine receptor agonist that causes continued stimulation of the parasitic worm muscles, leading to paralysis. In countries that still permit the use of levamisole, the recommended dose for anthelmintic therapy is a single dose, with a repeated dose seven days later if needed for a severe hookworm infection. Most current commercial preparations are intended for veterinary use as a dewormer in cattle, pigs, and sheep. However, levamisole has also recently gained prominence among aquarists as an effective treatment for camelanus roundworm infestations in freshwater tropical fish. Cancer after being pulled from the market in the U.S. and Canada in 1999 and 2003, respectively, levamisole has been tested in combination with fluorouracil to treat colon cancer. Evidence from clinical trials support its addition to fluorouracil therapy to benefit patients with colon cancer. In some of the leukemic cell line studies, both levamisole and tetramisole showed similar effect. Other Levamisole has been used to treat a variety of dermatologic conditions, including skin infections, leprosy, warts, lichen planus, and aphthous ulcers. An interesting adverse side effect these reviewers reported in passing was neurologic excitement. Later papers, from the Janssen Group and others, indicate levamisole and its enantiomer, digzamisole, have some mood elevating or antidepressant properties, although this was never a marketed use of the drug. Adverse effects one of the more serious side effects of levamisole is a granulocytosis, or the depletion of the white blood cells. In particular, neutrophils appear to be affected the most. This occurs in 0.08 to 5% of the studied populations. There have also been reports of levamisole-induced necrosis syndrome in which erythematous painful papules can appear almost anywhere on skin. It has been used as an adulterant in cocaine resulting in serious side effects. Metabolism Levamisole is readily absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract and metabolized in the liver. Its time to peak plasma concentration is 1.5 to 2 hours. The plasma elimination half-life is fairly quick at 3 to 4 hours which can contribute to not detecting levamisole intoxication. The metabolite half-life is 16 hours. Levamisole's excretion is primarily through the kidneys, with about 70% being excreted over three days. Only about 5% is excreted as unchanged levamisole. Drug testing of racehorse urine has led to the revelation that among levamisole equine metabolites are both pemoline and aminorex, stimulants that are forbidden by racing authorities. Further testing confirmed aminorex in human and canine urine, meaning that both humans and dogs also metabolize levamisole into aminorex, though it is unclear whether plasma aminorex is present at any appreciable level. Blood samples following oral administration of levamisole out to 172 hours post-dose did not demonstrate any plasma aminorex levels above that of the limit of quantification LOQ. Additionally, in cocaine-positive plasma samples, of which 42% contained levamisole, aminorex was never reported at concentrations higher than LOQ. Detection in body fluids 
Levamisole may be quantified in blood, plasma, or urine as a diagnostic tool in clinical poisoning situations or to aid in the medical legal investigation of suspicious deaths involving adulterated street drugs. About 3% of an oral dose is eliminated unchanged in the 24-hour urine of humans. A post-mortem blood levamisole concentration of 2.2 mg per liter was present in a woman who died of a cocaine overdose. Illicit use Levamisole has increasingly been used as a cutting agent in cocaine sold around the globe with the highest incidence being in the USA. In 2008-2009, levamisole was found in 69% of cocaine samples seized by the Drug Enforcement Administration DIA. By April 2011, the DIA reported the adulterant was found in 82% of seizures. Levamisole adds bulk and weight to powdered cocaine, whereas other adulterants produce smaller rocks of cocaine and makes the drug appear purer. In a series of investigative articles for The Stranger, Brendan Kiley details other rationales for levamisole. S rise as an adulterant, possible stimulant effects, a similar appearance to cocaine, and an ability to pass street purity tests. Levamisole suppresses the production of white blood cells, resulting in neutropenia and agranulocytosis. With the increasing use of levamisole as an adulterant, a number of these complications have been reported among cocaine users. Levamisole has also been linked to a risk of vasculitis, and two cases of vasculitic skin necrosis have been reported in users of cocaine adulterated with levamisole. Levamisole tainted cocaine was linked to several high profile deaths. Toxicology reports showed levamisole, along with cocaine, was present in DJAM's body at the time of his death. Andrew Kopel, son of newsman Ted Kopel, was also found with levamisole in his body after his death was ruled a drug overdose. In 2014 it was suspected to be involved in the death of a Sydney teenager, in response to the dangers, the stranger, people's harm reduction alliance and dance safe began producing tests to identify levamisole. S presence in cocaine. The kits include a survey postcard, and one revealed its presence in a one-quarter kilogram block of cocaine, indicating both users and dealers were using the kits. Chemistry The original synthesis at Janssen Pharmaceutica resulted in the preparation of a racemic mixture of two enantiomers, whose hydrochloride salt was reported to have a melting point of 264 to 265 degrees Celsius. The free base of the racemate has a melting point of 87 to 89 degrees Celsius. The racemic mixture is referred to as tetramisole. Levamisole refers only to the levorotatory enantiomer of tetramisole. Toxicity The LD50 intravenous mouse is 22 mg per kilogram. Laboratory use Levamisole reversibly and noncompetitively inhibits most isoforms of alkaline phosphatase, e.g., human liver, bone, kidney, and spleen, except the intestinal and placental isoform. It is thus used as an inhibitor along with substrate to reduce background alkaline phosphatase activity in biomedical assays involving detection signal amplification by intestinal alkaline phosphatase, for example in in situ hybridization or western blot protocols. It is used to immobilize the nematode C. elegans on glass slides for imaging and dissection. In a C. elegans behavioral assay, analyzing the time course of paralysis provides information about the neuromuscular junction. Levamisole acts as an acetylcholine receptor agonist, which leads to muscle contraction. Continuing activation leads to paralysis. The time course of paralysis provides information about the acetylcholine receptors on the muscle. For example, mutants with fewer acetylcholine receptors may paralyze slower than wild type. Research It has also been studied as a method to stimulate the immune system as part of the treatment of cancer. It has also shown some efficacy in the treatment of nephrotic syndrome in children. References